So, for my storage mall, which is all the way up over there, it all started with, so this is what the original mall was before we expanded, and this was the expansion to that original mall, and it just wasn't very space efficient, mainly because uh, this rock is in the way, and we were like pushing factories over, and there was a massive mess of conveyors. So what I did was I disconnected everything that was connected right over here, and then these are all still actively being fed by various means. So this just exists sort of as a storage buffer. But it's a 17 to 1 merger using priority merges. And I manually, up in the mall, I'll show it later, there's an overflow belt. And the initial thing I did was I balanced all of these priorities to make things that weren't being used uh, a lower priority than stuff that was being used or stuff that would really need to go in, like these uh, modular frames. Uh, so that has a high priority, which feeds into more high priority. And then it's just uh, um, whatever was over on this line had needed to, I think it was screws I needed more so than the frames. So I started with that, and then uh, I realized, well, for certain things, like when I was using wire with the way it was set up, hold on, let me, the way it was set up, everything originally had a, a tier five belt, and I was getting issues where certain stuff was plugging up other things, especially like wire right here. So certain things, after watching the output line, I moved to different tiers of belt, uh, so, like, screws needed a Mark II, wire needed a Mark I. Um, and I'm still not done balancing, uh, because I don't know if any of those up there are running out of deficit to where this isn't providing fast enough. Um, but they just all ride on this single input line. And then... Uh, up here on this input line. We also have a manual inventory dump if we need it. Um, that's what that is. The input line, this was originally running at 780 a minute. That's the maximum for a tier 5 conveyor belt. I've managed to knock it down to about 650 with peaks of 780. But uh, it's usually around like 650-ish. Um... And they all go into the storage mall, each thing. It's just a splitter with Onion Undefined going forward, ending in um, in a chest to collect anything that hasn't been organized. Um, and then this is the overflow line I was talking about. This also used to be nearly maxed out. And I've got it down to about 330. Um, so... Uh, the initial thing I was just looking at to see what shows up most frequently. So, like, these steel beams are coming through a lot. And I don't think they're being used too much inside this factory. Uh, if at all. Uh, steel beams should be right about here. Yeah, right here. So, steel beams aren't being used at all. So I would do that, and I started adding these on here, so it's actually taking no more inputs per minute. Obviously because this is full, and the steel beam is not being used, there's no output. So I did that, and I added this is the belt that goes to overflow. So we're overflowing 74 a minute. Which means I can either lower the priority of steel beams over in the uh 17 to 1 merger or um since i'm pretty satisfied with how those priorities are because everything else is pretty nice and balanced i can instead the beams are coming through on a they're coming through on a mark three belt right now we don't really need them so we can move to mark one that caps it at 60 a minute max so there will be uh, 15 per minute building up in this buffer now. 
Um, and then it just backs up. It'll just back up the steel factory, and that'll stop production. Um, so that's how I've been balancing this. The only next thing I can think to further improve things uh, and reduce my waste while maximizing uh, like the efficiency of my belt for input would be I need to manually rearrange all of these chests for merges um because like right now modular frames are important to use uh, i'm using a lot of uh i think motor or plastic i know definitely is getting used a lot um and i just started using more steel pipes would be to take those three items and put those all three on the same merger uh, with the same priority and then making that a higher priority input um, overall. And then a lot of the lesser used stuff, like I'm not using rods I think at all. I don't think there's any recipe I can use rods for that I need right now. But like I'm not really using rods. I'm not using uh, metal plates. Uh... I'm not really using copper sheets all that much. I could put those three on the same line and give them a low priority so they just never uh, show up. Um, that might be a way for me to improve my numbers here. Or it might be that I need to mix a low priority and a high priority. So the high priority, which is also... Um, like take for example here, this is a really high priority item. But it's not always in stock in these chests. Whereas this is a low priority item and it's backing up into the chest. I think mixing high, low, and mid priority would be a way to balance everything. Uh, because something high priority might also not constantly be in stock. So it's not going to block all the lower priority stuff. So I could still keep using this and my steel beams are still going to go through. Which is kind of how it is set up right now. Um... It just so happens that, like, uh, these are two low priorities with one super high priority item. Um, but the issue with how that is set up right now is this high input. Sort of, uh, these random things, if any of these lines get super backed up for whatever reason, uh, like rods and metal beams can start blocking anything lower than this priority, which is both of these inputs. So I would be losing out on my... Uh, in case themes, which that should actually be a really high priority item. Um, not so much as staters. I don't know if I'm actively using staters for anything. Um, no, we're not actively using staters for anything in the first place. So, uh, that actually shouldn't even be that high. Staters are... That one. Let me see if I can bump that down. Okay. Um, but, uh, like I went over the metal beam production a minute ago, we were wasting about 75 a minute, and I tapped the conveyor belt output to, uh, 60, I capped it at 60, so if we go back here, this can only ever output at 60 a minute. Um... Which means that we should also roughly... And then there's certain things like this Caterium wire. Caterium and quartz. We get off shipments. Um, from... Caterium comes in over the highway. From over there. And uh, we drone in quartz from... Uh, should be like there. Right, right about that area. And those two things, uh, they come in such, like, bursts that it's extremely wasteful for me to put it on the single input line. So I just merge them in. Um, a couple other things, like uh, aluminum-clad sheets and uh, aluminum casings get a merger. And then anything that's actually produced within this mall right here gets... Uh, it goes underneath the floor... And then they get a merger line that just goes back over and it merges in. Um, but over here we should see...
Yeah, this dips down. I cut out that 15 and this dips down into the 200s now. Um, so that's just the basics. It's just getting awesome sync. I pick up the coupons every once in a while. This is a lot of Ethereum. Um, nothing's failed to sort so far. All of these are set up. Um, and the next item we're going to be working on is probably the turbo motors up here to finish particle enrichment, and then we're going to knock out the rest of the phase. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my, that's my mall. It's not as awesome as I was hoping would be at first, but here we are. And I just set up my OBS, so hopefully that's all, like, understandable. I'm not fucking recording this again, so. Yippee!